I'm going to tell you just a little bit about my Hobie story. So, four years ago, I was sitting and we're in the same exact shoes as you were. Um, believe it or not, I was absolutely deathly shy. Basically, if anything, putting myself out in front of people. At class, I would have anxiety attacks before presentations. I never liked to raise my hand, answer the questions. You know, kind of just those basic things. I just had the most difficult time doing. So walking into Hobie was terrifying. <laughs> and I'm sure some of you guys can probably relate with me on that. Um, but Hobie really transformed me. And if you told me that five years later I would be standing in front of you all today, I would think you are joking. <laughs> I'd be like, there is no possible way that I would be up here. But here I am, and it's, I do owe all of that to hold you. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Hobie really, the biggest thing that I took away from Hobie was that even though each of us are so very different in many ways, that we each have our own gifts, talents, and skills that are unique to us and that make us special. And I think that's absolutely incredible how, you know, you right here, have a whole different set of skills than the person over here. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's what we need. If everyone were the same in this room, it would be boring and everyone would be leaders or wouldn't be leaders, you know? So I think that's absolutely incredible that because you each are so unique, that there are so many different directions you can go with your life and that um, make you the leader that you're supposed to be. So yeah, Hobie really empowered me to really stand up, speak up, and be who I wanted to be. Because we all have dreams. If you didn't, get them rolling, because you're gonna wanna start thinking about it. Um, but you know, even littler things that you might think of, like, hey, like, I wanna join like student council. Great, you know, that can be kind of one of your goals. Start kind of thinking about what you wanna do. And that's what Hobie kind of spirals, kind of gets it going for you. Like when you guys did the values activity, um, it was difficult to do, but it really brings a reality of what you care about and what you do want your life to be a part of one day. So, um, over the past year, I've really been working on personal growth, and it's something that isn't an overnight fix, isn't something that I'm 100% good to go on, because it's constantly a work in progress. But what I've kind of been focusing on is coming to terms and being at peace with my past. So, I want you guys to just take a moment to close your eyes, okay, and think about the big moments that you think have made you become the person you are today. Just take a couple moments. Okay, you can open them. There's probably a ton of memories and different situations that are flooding your mind, right? There's probably a lot, because every single moment and situation has brought you to who you are today, and the wonderful individual you are. But here's the thing. Sometimes when we look at our past, we tend to have like a negative tint to it. Because sometimes it's more difficult for us to remember the big successful moments for us, but it's easier to kind of dwell on those, what you might want to consider negative moments. And these negative moments are kind of what we use to define us. You know, in society we kind of don't really share all of our strengths and all these great things about us and we kind of use that to identify ourselves and what i kind of want to challenge each of you to do today is to kind of put your positive and successful experiences and also your negative ones or the ones that you might not really place a lot of emphasis on and put them into the same box because we're going to think about them in the same way today so um when you think about these negative moments kind of like i said there tends to be kind of a little bit of a negative tint. You know, why is that? Because, kind of like I said, we do use that as kind of our identifiers. So kind of first, think of a moment that you felt really proud of yourself, like your proudest moment in your life. A couple seconds. Okay, and why do you feel that way? Was it because maybe you made a genuine connection with someone? or you like ace that test you tried so hard to study for. Okay, whatever it may be, and I know there's tons of, tons of different moments that I haven't even, wouldn't even be able to begin to touch on. And really look at why you feel that way and really focus on that because that's kind of our drive. Because as we look at our past, there are those moments that we're like, uh, 
I don't really know how this can be positive in my life today. But then you also get to kind of dwell and thrive in those victories that you've had. And that's something that's been really incredible for me to kind of sift through and really learn how to love myself and kind of forgive myself from my past. So, um, as you guys kind of think of different experiences, moments in your life, um, I'm going to share with you one that I really used to fully identify myself for the longest time. Um, so, a few years ago, I was in an unhealthy relationship. And that was something that I did not realize um, the dimension of it until it was done, and that happens a lot. Um, and it had occurred that multiple times throughout the year that we were together, I was sexually assaulted multiple times. And that's something that I really used to identify myself. So for the past two years, it would be something that would run through my mind every day, every hour. You know, like, why would this happen to me? You know, you kind of hear, you know, sometimes the best people go through the most difficult things. And each of you have moments like this. I know that we've all gone through a lot, and it's only been, you know, 16 years. Um, so that was something that kind of prevented me from being the individual that I am like today. I've improved a lot over the past years. I've really focused on, okay, this wasn't the best experience that could have happened to me, but I wouldn't be the person I am today without it. And that's something that's really hard to accept because I'm not going to tell you that I'm 100% good to go with it, but I'm much better than where I was before. And for each of you, these moments will be something you constantly work on every day for the rest of your life. Um, so yeah, kind of looking at all these moments, you know, as we say the positive and the negative, um, you gain different characteristics and different traits for who you are today. So personally for myself, because of what happened to me, I am very confident in saying that I am resilient, that I am motivated, and I am very driven in all I do. And that's something, who knows how it would have been today if you know certain things hadn't happened to me or happened to you guys, but you can, you can be confident in saying that the characteristics wouldn't be as bold as they are today if certain things hadn't happened to you. Like I said, I know each of you have these experiences, these ones that you kind of tend to dwell on, and that's something where it's a process. You know, you're going to have to open those wounds that you've really tried to just like shove shut, you know, and keep them closed and kind of tuck them away and not really get back to them. But to become leaders, we want to be able to be fully happy with ourselves and proud of ourselves. And time moves really fast. You guys know this. Even this weekend, some of us are like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we just met yesterday and we're leaving tomorrow. You know, time moves so fast. And if we sit and dwell in single moments, it's going to keep passing us by. And then we got to try to catch up. So it's something, like I said, I'm not 100% ready to go. You know, it's a process. And that's something that I kind of want to challenge you guys to do. Not like at this moment, but even like tonight, this summer, you know, after you go back home from Hobie, kind of just think about the big moments in your life, you know, your successes, your um, memories that you might just need to take a little bit more time sifting through, and kind of think about, okay, like, yes, these happened to me, but what can I take away from this? And that's something that's actually really incredible. And I um, you might be wondering, okay, like, why am I telling you all this about myself when, you know, we've only known each other for two days? And that's because I have learned to love myself, be happy with myself, and found peace in my past, kind of like I said earlier. And that's something that, you know, we want the best for each other, and that's something why I kind of want to share that with you. So, as we kind of look at our experiences, we find our strengths. Okay, kind of like we were talking about those different traits. So when you make your list, kind of think about your strengths and also your weaknesses, because kind of what's kind of fun is that your strengths can be your weaknesses, and sometimes your weaknesses can be your strengths, depending on the situation. And that's something we usually don't really think about. It's like, all right, these are our weaknesses, and that's it. That's just the way it is. But you got to embrace that, because that's something that you can always improve on, 
and constantly work on, and it can eventually help you kind of find your strength. So that's kind of the experience part. Um, because, kind of like I had said, when we think about our negative experiences, we don't really think about how they can connect today or like how they could help us today. And that's something that's really, really big. Because um, I want to first share with you a quote because I'm a quote geek and <laughs> you're going to see a few of these throughout. So um, I'll just read it to you, kind of just to go along with the experiences. Your journey has molded you for the greater good and it was exactly what it needed to be. Don't think that you've lost time. It took each and every situation you have encountered to bring you to the now, and now is right on time. 